surgery short case severity assist examination in your exam your examiner will ask from you please examine this lump this one it is look like severity assist severity assist most commonly present in the hairy area especially scalp not appear in your palm and so on the most common site is scalp and other part of the body except palm and so on size it can be very small medium size and large size sebaceous cyst usually they will give medium to large size sebaceous cyst in the exam size is medium to large size shape hemispherical in shape but it can be oval shape as well hemispherical or oval in shape skin 50% of cases 50% of cases there will be punctum you can see the punctum here small opening that is called punctum there will be punctum not only that if it is infected what happened there can be redness there can be warm underlying skin can be warm redness and there will be punctum warm and redness surface usually smooth it like this there will be punctum small opening this is your lung this is your underlying structure this one is overlying skin there will be punctum if it is infected there will be warmth and redness both surface is smooth surface usually smooth edges again well defined you can clearly identify the edges unless it is inflamed once it inflamed what happen this area also edematous edges will not be able to clearly define so edges well defined tissue plane because of the phantom phantom present in the 50% of case because of the phantom or even without phantom the the sebaceous cyst is usually attached to skin not to the underlying structure it attached to the skin attached to the skin if you roll the skin over the lump you can't do it but you can push lump from here to here from the underlying structure it is not attached to underlying structure but it attached to the skin consistency it can be soft like your lip or firm consistency is soft to firm fluctuant it is fluctuant if it is contain thin sebum it is you can see the fluctuant clear but once it become thick sebum fluctuant little bit reduces but somehow it is fluctuant because of presence of thin or thick sebum it is not transilubinant it is usually not transilubinant lymph node if it is infect what happen inflammatory swelling of adjacent cervical lymph node you can see otherwise no there can be inflammatory lymph node now you have to present you see how i want to present you have to keep like this hand there is a hemispherical shape lump over the left side of the face measuring 2.5 cm in diameter there is a punctum and no surrounding erythema or wound it is surface is smooth edges well defined it is attached to the skin not attached to underlying structure it is firm in consistency fluctuant and not transilubinant my probable diagnosis is sebaceous cyst i would like to offer him excision under local anesthesia if it is infected your local anesthetic may not work in the surrounding area because of the inflammation in that case you may have to do general anesthesia somehow during the surgery you have to remove this phantom you have to insert this phantom and you have to remove rest of the part that is how it is appear in your exam but at the end of your presentation your examiner going to ask few question what are the histological type of sebaceous cyst number 1 epidermal cyst 
epidermal cyst. Number two, trenchylemma cyst. What? Trenchylemma cyst. What is the difference between the epidermal cyst and trenchylemma cyst? Epidermal cyst usually develop from squamous epithelium. Trichelamal cyst usually develop from outer root sheath of hair particle. Outer root sheath of hair particle develop trichelamal cyst. Epidermal cyst from squamous epithelium. This trichelamal cyst rarely can undergo Real, very rarely but very rarely can undergo malignant transformation very rarely it can undergo malignant transformation next question is can they undergo malignant transformation yes but it is very 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 rare next one what are the complications what are the complications they can have infection there can be infection infection and inflammation they can undergo malignant transformation rarely. Before that, it can become calcified. It can become calcified. It can ulcerate. It can ulcerate. Rarely it can become malignant transformation. It can become abscess formation. So, it can become inflamed, infection, calcification, ulceration, rarely malignant transformation, and abscess formation and sebaceous horn formation even can happen if it is left untreated. Sebaceous horn formation. That means this is your sebaceous cyst, like horn. If you develop two sebaceous horn, you will be like this sebaceous horn formation. Next one. What is the treatment for sebaceous cyst? Treatment is excision under local anesthesia or if it is infected, local anesthesia not work, excision under local anesthesia. That is all regarding sebaceous cyst. Thank you very much.